Pablo Picasso, Karl Spitzweg, Marc Chagall, Renoir. It's a fantasy shopping list for an art lover, a roll call of the greats. A huge cache of artworks found hidden in a Munich flat belonging to the reclusive son of a wartime art dealer. But now, according to these German officials, in the caretaker hands of the state. There are 1,500 in total, including masterpieces the Nazis labelled as degenerate. That didn't stop them stealing them. Anne Weber is with the Commission for Looted Art in Europe. I mean, there are families who were looted under the most terrible, brutal, terrifying circumstances of persecution, threats of murder, actual murder, and for whom these paintings mean a huge amount. The Commission says it's been inundated with inquiries from possible owners. It asks why the German authorities took so long to reveal the cash. And it says their decision not to publish a list of the paintings, apparently to deter false claims, is wrong. They are the last link with those lives that were utterly destroyed and or transformed by the Nazis. And so it's a matter of, it's, a, it's really an urgent matter that the Bavarian authorities should publish a list so that families can see if their artworks are there. The Art Loss Register also works to restore stolen or lost art to its owners. On its database, a massive 300,000 items. Chairman Julian Radcliffe says the lack of a paper trail poses huge problems for the latest cash. Either the victims weren't able to keep documentation because they were fleeing the country, or the documentation was destroyed during the war, or the Nazis, who kept pretty good documentation, that may well have been destroyed as well, which means that some of these items, nobody will ever know where they came from. The register has a top ten of masterpieces it's trying to track down. All were lost or stolen during World War II. A valuation of those alone could run into billions. Public galleries may stand to benefit the most from the latest find. If there was no record of them amongst the Nazis' seizures, and no family can remember having them, there won't be anybody to whom they can be returned, and they will then probably go to a museum and be held until, if ever, a proper claim can be made. Which will at least give some of us a glimpse of them. For the time being, though, the paintings remained under wraps at a secret location, just as they have done for the last 70 years.